So, no matter what's happening in your life, we can practice gratitude. Amen? Let me finish with this. There's three things you can do to be a more grateful person and invite miracles to your life. Three things in three minutes. Are you ready? First one is become a tourist in your own hometown. I remember years ago, Hannah and I saved up a bunch of money to go to France, and it was like our dream come true. Taking us over, over a year to save up the money to kind of backpack through, bed, and we went to bed and breakfast and stuff in France and England, and every moment was amazing, and it was just so great seeing Europe. That when we finally got home, we were so sad. We had to come back to Orange, you know, and like in our home in Orange, and it was boring, and the same old, same old. And I remember it was that week I was walking around and I saw four Japanese people who were visiting from out of town and they were taking pictures of everything in my hometown of Old Town Orange. They were taking pictures like the bench. They even came up and wanted a picture with me and they weren't like, oh, you're Bobby Shuler. They were like, oh, you're a tall white guy. It was crazy. <laughs> and so they took a picture with me and, and I like, talked to them and they were like, your hometown is amazing. Did you know they filmed the wonders over there? Or not the wonders. Uh... Thank you. They film that thing you do there, and he's going on and on. And I was like, hey, you're right, that is, and that is a cool tree, and that is a cool bench, and yeah, I do like that building. And I remember thinking, what if I could just be a tourist in my own town? What if I could stop and notice some of these great things that are in my life that I take advantage, or I don't take advantage of, and I take for granted, rather. I think many of us, we could be that way if we didn't hurry so much. So be a tourist in your own town. Number two, don't compare, ever. If you're a mom, don't compare yourself to other moms. If you're an accountant, don't compare yourself to other accountants. If, if you're a pastor in ministry, don't compare yourself to people in ministry, or a musician, or whoever you are. Don't compare, and especially, don't compare your current life to your past life. Don't look back five years, or 10 years, or 20 years ago and say, it used to be like this. It used to be so much better. Don't do that. Just be where you are now. Be present and notice what you have. What a gift it is that you're alive, that you have friends, that you're in church. It's all a gift. We just have to have eyes to see it. And finally, number three, thank people as often as you are able. And do it genuinely. Saying thanks is not really thanking someone. Saying, I'm thankful for you, or I'm thankful that you got so much foam on my cappuccino. That was the most bougie thing I've ever said. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. The people in your life that you work with, who you talk to, that you say to them, I am thankful for you. Thank people even when they're supposed to do it. You don't want to thank your husband when he takes out the trash because he's supposed to do it. If I thank him, then he might think, oh, I don't really have to do this, right? That's the fear. I promise you, you start thanking your husband when he takes out the trash, he's going to take it out more, not less. Thank your employees when they do what they're supposed to do. Thank your colleagues when they help you out, even if they're supposed to help you out. Don't be entitled. Be thankful and be genuine about it. And watch as how being thankful brings more of those kinds of results that you want. Being thankful will open your eyes to see how blessed you are. And more than that, it'll even attract more blessing from heaven. If you feel like you're not enough, if you feel like you don't have enough, friend, I want you to know you are God's beloved. And no matter where you are now, your future is so bright, so wonderful. And I'll see you there at the end of the finish line. Amen. Amen. Lord, we are thankful. We truly are for all you've given us. And we love you. Amen. <laughs>